afternoon, of course, everyone. I want to start off by saying, Madam Chair, your kind words and unwavering support for the Elections Office are greatly appreciated. So Supervisor Curl here played a crucial role in rebuilding our office and advocating for election staff when other people were not. And she also helped to secure temporary facility after the fire. So on behalf of the election staff, I want to thank you. And of course, I also want to go ahead and give gratitude to the firefighters and our sheriff deputies who responded swiftly and minimized the destruction of the fire. Their quick in action minimized the fire, but also helped us restore a lot of our equipment. Now, while Coda, the sheriff's deputy, was off duty that day, <laughs> I still want to thank her for coming today. <laughs> but I want to know why she wasn't there. <laughs> of course, I got to give special thanks to Ray Espinosa and Henry Ring, who is here today, our county administrative officers, and Joe Paul Gonzalez, our county auditor. Their efforts in fast tracking the recovery process, negotiating which is not easy, with insurance companies and securing the funds enable us to be able to lease this facility. Also to purchase equipment and hire the needed expedited contractors that we needed to be able to do a lot of the work here. Over a million dollars has been spent on the recovery of the county clerk recorder and election offices. Acknowledgement also must go to the numerous members of the community who reached out, offer help, and even brought homemade cookies to our office. <laughs> we really appreciated the cookies. <laughs> now today, we're gathered here to celebrate the successful rebuilding of the county clerk, recorder, and elections office after a devastating fire. Despite losing all our technology, election materials, and honestly, some of our sense of normalcy, dedicated staff worked tirelessly to have our office up and running within 48 hours. Within 48 hours, our staff was recording property sales and they were registering birth certificates. Now, I, I, I'll be remiss if I don't give a special thanks to Michael Parsons here today. <laughs> Michael played a key role in rebuilding our entire infrastructure of technology. He worked long hours and he has an unwavering commitment to his job that doesn't compare to anybody in the county of San Benito. Totally agree. And of course I also must give thanks to Ana de Castro Maquis my right-hand manager, who through his entire process demonstrated true and authentic leadership and helped us rebuild our election process. She kept the office together and brought much needed structure after the chaos. So I wanna ask you to please join me in thanking and giving a round of applause to all the members of the County Clerk Recorder Elections Office for their hard work and dedication we're all have right here behind you. Yay. And as, our take, as we take a tour of our new facility, I want to ask you to observe the improvements and security changes to our expanded 13,000 square feet facility. Security measures, including video surveillance, motion detectors, farm al uh, alarm system, security cages, and of course, fire sprinklers. <laughs> all, who, all who which were implemented in collaboration with county IT, county maintenance, first alarm, and our local businesses like Wright Brothers. You know, after working in a decade in a building with active asbestos, for the first time, I can now assure my office of their health and safety. This new facility also provides an opportunity for innovation and for streamlining our operations without the nagging cessation that we're gonna disrupt the asbestos. Likewise, gone are the days when we are greeted 
from bulletproof glass. We are going, getting back to our roots. When you come into the office, you're gonna be greeted by a person, you will sit across from a person, and you'll be treated like a person. Gone other days when you needed to book in a, a marriage appointment a week or two weeks in advance. We are now performing daily marriage ceremonies in our lobby chapel, which I encourage everyone to see. <laughs> and gone are the days when we had to limit election observers because of the confines of a building that was built in 1964 for other purposes. <laughs> now in two months, we transform our office space, changed our customer service model, and made the facility accessible to the public. And with an election just around the corner, our digital preparations are driven not only by our constitutional mandate, but also for a genuine love for our community. A close friend of mine who is here today told me the other day how fortunate we are to work in a place where it's also our residence. This is not just our job, this is a love affair because we get to serve our friends, our family, and our neighbors. As such, my staff and I have a greater sense of responsibility to make sure that we have a successful March 5th presidential election. So once again, I wanna thank you for being here and I wanna thank everyone for supporting myself, my staff, and the office of the county clerk, recorder, and elections. Thank you.